Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some autumn teas that were inside my September Sips by box. I'm just having the opportunity to open it up now and I'm so excited to see the delicious teas that are inside. A huge thank you to Sipspy for gifting me this box to enjoy and share with all of you. I'm so excited to see what teas are in here. If you'd like, feel free to use my code TEALOVE to save $5 off your first Sipspy box. Anyway, you guys, without further ado, make sure to grab your own delicious cup of tea, virtual cheers, and let's get started with today's video. As always, inside my Sip Spy box are some tea sachets, which are perfect for making loose leaf tea. There's usually a variety of loose leaf teas and baked teas in my Sip Spy box, so I love loose leaf teas. But sometimes it's great when you're traveling to have a tea bag, or if you're just having a day where you just don't feel like dealing with the extra steps with loose leaf tea. The first tea that you're seeing here is from Stash, and it is called the Double Bergamot Earl Grey. This tea, I have to get more of. It was so delicious. I highly recommend it. I cannot get enough. It was so good. I made it like as a latte and just regular. So good. Now the next tea I have to share with you is called the British Breakfast Black Tea by the Republic of Tea. It was so good. I'm a huge fan of English breakfast tea. It's usually my go-to in the morning after matcha or before matcha. It's usually one or the other. I have to have both in the morning and it is so good. I definitely recommend trying this one. It had a lovely mixture of leaves and it was so good. Now the next tea you're seeing here is a green tea. I'm a huge green tea fan. And this is the Organic Jasmine Green Tea by OLL Tea Co. And it was so good. I ended up making this tea later in the video. So stay tuned on how I prepared it if you wanna learn more. The last tea I have to share with you is by Off Black Generation Tea Company and it's called Sleep Breezy, a wonderful tea I enjoyed before bed. It is a herbal tea with chamomile, peach, rose hip, lemongrass, there's apple flavorings, and blackberry. Now it's time for the tea of the video, so let's get started. I decided to make the Organic Jasmine Green Tea by OLL Tea Co. It is an organic fair trade green tea and oh my gosh, it smells good. I was in the mood for something calming but energizing and I find green tea, especially jasmine tea, does just that for me. I decided to make it with one of my Sip Spy tea sachets and I used about 175 degree Fahrenheit for the tea and I steeped it for a total of, a, I think I did it for actually three minutes. You can kind of do it between two to three minutes depending on how strong a flavor you want for your green tea. I was interested in learning about this brand, so OLL Tea Co. provides clean, high quality, classic teas that are grown organically and sustainably. Valuing your health and the environment, they bring you teas you can trust to be healthy and delicious. And while this was brewing, you can probably spot my Hocus Pocus Scentsy Warmer. It is spectacular, and I'm obsessed. As soon as I heard about it, I messaged my Scentsy consultant, Wax with Alex, and she let me know when it was releasing, and I literally bought it like the moment it released because I was worried it was going to sell out, and it totally did. I'm so happy I was able to get one. It's so much fun, and I've gotten so addicted to Scentsy this past year, you guys. I absolutely love it. I have quite a few of the Disney warmers and a couple non-Disney ones, too. And I've been really enjoying learning about Scentsy and the different scents. And I'm actually hosting my own party. So if you're interested in shopping it or learning more about Scentsy, I'll leave a link down below. My consultant, Alex, has just been so amazing and such a sweetheart. And I definitely recommend checking her out. Now, anyway, after the two minutes, my tea was ready. And here is a look at it. I'm using my beautiful David's Tea Nordic Glass Mug. I love this mug. It was actually on sale. It has like a little garden design with this, like the glitter inside of it, if you're interested. I think it, they still might actually have some on sale on their sales section. If so, I'll leave a link down below in the description bar on where you can find it. And it is, oh, I just love it. I think it's so pretty and you can get a really nice sense of the color of the tea through the glass, which sometimes it's really nice to see because certain teas have just beautiful colors to appreciate. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what was inside my Sips by September box. A huge thank you again to Sips by for sending me this box to enjoy. And also to each and every one of you as I wouldn't have these opportunities without you guys. So thank you so much. I hope you guys have a spectacular rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.